the Joe Rogan experience. The opinion is there was something so dope that we could just break it down to one. What and a, the fucking, like, what was the thought process behind a, that? Well, for, for my point of view, right, it was just like. That's I was, how I, you know what I'm no, saying? No, 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 like, hold on, let me explain. For my point of view, music was being devalued. Right by through so, streaming services by society, right? But, yeah. but, but how yeah, how through, so? Not through streaming, of course. Right, uh, illegal downloads. Illegal, illegal downloads, right? If you want to, let's talk a little bit of business. I won't go too okay. deep. I'll give me two minutes of business. All right. So let's just take Napster, right? Okay. Who's, who's the founder <laughs> right. of this type of technology, right? And he takes millions of songs and gives them away, and then now people are getting all these songs for free. Now the music industry like any other industry, has a certain quota of business it does every year. Like every other industry, right? Whether it's $4 billion a year or $5 billion a year, it's an industry of a group of people, and that's their yearly quota. So if Napster comes, right, and, and, and he takes all these songs where all these people who are waiting for their publishing checks, waiting for their economics to be created from music, now there's no publishing check. All the numbers are now decreased because there's no physical sale of your music for us to accumulate a value to send you a check. But then at the end of the day, after he does that, he gets a billion dollars. So now oh. you're talking what belongs to, let's say, say there's a thousand artists that's worth value as far as, you know, that sell records that you could say accumulate money, right? So we took, a, we took the power of a thousand and put it in one man's hand, okay? So that's one of the first mistakes as an industry we make. And then the second mistake we make is that now there's services going and there's illegal downloads and people won't pay a dollar for the record. Right. Right? And for an album, you won't pay 10 to $12 for an album. Even let's say it was $20, you won't pay that. But you'll pay $300, $400 for your headphones, right. two, three dollars $300 for your iPod or your phone, and you're using it for music. Let me ask you this. What's Last the best thing, way for... Without your okay. headphones, without music, your headphones is useless. Right. So why would you not pay the 10, 20 hours for the music? Because they don't have to, right? Right. Because they can get it some other way. But let me ask you this. What is the best way to support artists? What's the best way to buy it? Well, the best way to buy it now... Music? I mean, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, now. Well, now yeah. Your now, music. Well, now, Wu-Tang Clan, anybody's yeah. music. What's well, the best well, way now, that you get the most out of it? Well, the best way in the past was physical, but now the right. industry has figured out how to monetize the digital streaming. So now things are starting to rebalance. But during this period of time, you know, maybe within the last three, four years, it's starting to rebalance. But if you look at from 2000 to 2015, it's a total unbalance. Right. And a lot of artists had to stop making music because there's no economics in right. it. Now, a group like the Wu-Tang Clan, right? So let's just say... Let's just say the average verse for a Wu rapper, you know, let's say, yo, let me get a, let me get 16. He might be, yo, yes, tell son. Him, tell him, he don't know what 16 is, tell him. Yeah, uh, six, 16. I, I know. Okay, 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 16, 16, 16. <laughs> let's say Meph, <laughs> let's say Meph say, yo, throw me 20 cent for that, right? Okay. 20,000, Joe. Okay. So now let's just say he got 10 verses on this album. You know what I mean? Let's say every other Wu member do the same. So to get, to get an album made, it may cost a million dollars. A studio session, a studio session is up to, let's say, at the cheapest level, a hundred bucks an hour. You do a you do a twelve hour block out. That's another grand a day just to get into the studio. Mm. Then you got your engineer. Then you got so it costs mm. money to create music, right? But now you get all this done and you want to sell it, and somebody just the world just takes it for free. So now you can't recreate again. Now, even though the tools have gotten easier now and you could do a lot with your laptop and all that, even the laptop is 2Gs, bro. Even the, the download, just logic, right, which everybody use, $200, man. And so you need a so, – so, so, so it's merchandise and brand now. It's merchandise and brand. It's merchandise and being able to take the idea of that brand. And right, make but if it you're a fan, money. but if you're a fan, what's the best way to support well, now, well, now you? A, what's the best way to support Wu Tang to Clan? What's the best way to support? Is it Apple Music? Like what is what is the best well, way? No, iTunes? No, the, yeah, now no, now everything is found this way. In other words, if you could stream, streaming's it, good. Yeah, you could stream it. Spotify's good. Spotify's good. You could download it directly to your phone if you are. Uh, 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 but if you're going to give person, directions to fans, like what's the best way to support Wu Tang Clan? What's the best way to accumulate music acquire music 
I mean, if I just put it in, they're once, all good now. Like streaming. Yeah, I think it's balanced. Let me say iTunes, this. iTunes. I was just saying Amazon. It. Look, music is the second thing. The, the catch twenty two here, Joe, is this. Okay. Now, music is also made to be heard. Yes. So, while at one point I try to prove a point by saying, "Look, I'm gonna put a value on it," so you know there's a value to it because there's a value to me. But then on the other point, right? We put I put another album out called A Better Tomorrow, which is like, yo, do what you want with that. You know how I come? Because I don't make music for me to listen to. I make it for the world to listen to it at the same time. So the best way to support your artist is just by listening to the mm. music. All right? Mm. Beautiful. I'm with you. It's beautiful. But so this is good, though. This is because I've always wanted to know this because I've always, I've always been like, what do I do? Do I do iTunes? Do I do Amazon? Like, where, where do you get the most money back from? Yeah, I think, look, I think they, they, the system has found a way to balance itself. So, okay, so it's okay now. So, yeah, so Spotify is good. Beautiful. Uh, streaming, you know, streaming, look, you know, I mean, I think even Taylor Swift is thinking about coming over to the streaming thing. That now, right? dirty girl. Everybody's so, gonna come to the streaming shit. Yeah, because 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 that's the way to listen now. As right? long as she gets a good deal, right? The only thing, like you said, just the whole thing is, at the end of the day is play fair. Yes. Like yeah. you know what you can say, I don't want this streaming service, but somebody has to have a platform for people to even come check for you. Yes, a hundred percent. But the other thing like, is, the whole like, thing fans is like, need to know. Fans need to know. Like what? Like if I'm a fan. And uh, it, my, my, you know, fourteen dollars is not too much money for me to spend. I need to know where to spend it. I would, if if I could, if there's one yeah. place you could tell me, that's the best way to support Wu Tang Clan. This right. is the best and way. Now, to support. If I was a fan, right? If yes. I was a fan, and I and I had the money to spend, you know, I would definitely, you know, I would buy the vinyl, right? Why? Uh, okay. Because it's tangible, right? Right. Like, Yo, buy, it's so funny because that makes CD. sense. Why? Because it's tangible. Yeah, it's tangible. I'm spending money. Right. Okay. You get a but, physical object. Yeah, physical for physical. Especially if a I, record. Like you buy the vinyl. There's a commitment. Yo, that's so funny that you said that because I know people of certain blah 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 <laughs> that, <laughs> that blah blah blah. It's like this. Oh shit! They want audio rights to something so they can put it on vinyl, and then the value is. The history, the story. Like, a motherfucker won a vinyl Wu-Tang because it's art. Just yeah. like with the, the the one joint, it's art. It's art, brother. And, and like you said, we talked about it earlier. It's coming back. Yeah. It's coming back. Now, now I'm not saying it's going to go to clubs or anything like that and the DJs like that, but the act of collecting something and take it, take home with it's you. It's remember, C- remember CDs? CDs is like, it's te- technology. Is about to die. Why would I buy this CD? Because it has a booklet. Remember? Yeah. It's, the it's booklet? It's, it's well, something albums. Tangible that was, it was a something. big part of what albums were was the artwork. Yeah, yeah. It was the artwork. And CDs. Artwork. You could put the, you could put your weed on it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and those CDs, you break your weed up. Those Cheech CDs, you like this. Oh, shit, I got this Big album. Bamboo, they gave you a giant piece of rolling paper. They Remember you, that? Yeah. And that was the last thing. And I don't see what you did, but I don't see people doing that. But I think it's going to go back. Nobody's, everybody's not going to have 1200s in their house or whatever, but some people, especially if it's a genre or something that you connect with, they're going to be like, I want to buy that. (laughs) 